Hello and welcome back to Iratus. We are continuing our journey with the, well, world domination, taking over the humans, just kill them all. That's kind of the plan. Uh, but we are not very thorough. We just take one path and we just uh, stick with that. Uh, let's just go toward the chest with our uh, squad. <laughs> Wait, choose a squad. Like I, I did that. Let's go. It's tough. I can't even go for two squads. Select the boon. All enemies lose two evasion. That seems pretty okay. But of course, only if they have evasion. Decreases the critical hit strength of enemies by 20%. But first they would need to crit. Minions gain forward initiative but lose 15 accuracy. That's stupid. No. Let's go for all enemies lose a little bit of evasion. Ah, if I can use this. Are we gonna use that though? Okay, I, I just click on the guy to change his inventory, but no, we go into the graveyard with that. Let's go into the artifacts. That's one time use. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's, let's do that. Iratus receives more architect souls. Enemies lose a little bit of evasion. That's kind of nice. It doesn't matter which way we go, it's the same thing. Oh, oh, it, it kind of matters a little bit. Holy shit, no, this guy again. So that's a rock golem. And what we know about the rock golem is that it's a major asshole. It's the biggest dick. He is resistant to a fire. It's the same squad. He's resistant to a fire. I, I can't go for another squad, so... And, uh, basically physical. <laughs> With delict to self, 50% chance. I don't know. So we can do a spine bomb under him. Have a little tingle up your spine. I can attack with this guy later, but let's just go for, uh, tankiness. Fiery explosive. Oh my god. What are you doing? If I targeted him with the explosive. Oh man. We will need to trigger his ward. Oh. They switched locations again. Do I just keep boosting the zombie damage? Because currently it would be pretty bad. I don't like the artillery zombie. At all. Okay, that, this is good. This is gonna proc the board. Well, I already have one there. Have a little tingle up your spine. Uh, do I wanna keep blocking? This guy has a boost on him. And we can hit him three times. Maybe do that. Carve open their husks. This crazy switcheroo consta constantly happening. Alright, to set him on fire again. The crazy switcheroo continues. I just keep loading the gun. Okay, uh, let's make them deal less damage. Absorb fear. It's a good way to uh, fill mana. I will. I will try to use this. Hopefully. Okay, going for a buff. That's really good. Have a little tingle up your spine. Yeah, we're just gonna hit him. Uh, well, he's taking true damage. I guess we're just gonna go for the big burn again. Do we just keep loading the gun? Let's just keep loading the gun. I don't think it's gonna work right now. Keep loading the gun. <laughs> okay. What else we got? I just shot at them. Ooh, this one voided its bowels just to die. 
Okay, uh, let's take out. Have a little ting a bomb. Up your spine. Take down the executioner. So, what about the zombie? Are we good now? This is gonna be four, like 40 ish hits happening. I think that's good enough. Okay. Uh, I'll just shout at them again. Uh, he's pretty close to burning to death. I can do a box shot. Is it two turns? Cannonball. I can push back the stone golem, but I don't really want to. Okay, let's just kill this guy. Let's put them all into the trap range. Uh, the stone golem still has a boost. But there's not much I can do about that. We can either go for a... Oh my god. He has 75% accuracy? Holy shit. For some reason I thought that was like 25. Or is he accuracy boost? Still? Yes, he is. We need to just get rid of the bu buffs. Uh, yeah. Also killing the guy in the back. That would be nice. What? Did I attack the wrong person? No, no, we don't have the buff removal? I totally thought that I, I got it. No, I don't have it. God damn it. But that, that should be the next thing we pick up, that's for sure. Absorb fear. It seems pretty okay. this help? No. We need to start loading the gun again. Oh yeah, just punch him real hard. Yeah, I My mean, that's a win. It is a win. We got level 3, a 20, uh, 30 IQ brain. Really good. 2. Guys healed up. We got a little bit of mana. A zombie upgraded. Uh, let's just check out the, what we got at home. So this is what's ready. We can make these guys level up. Let's try to level up the zombie. I think the best zombie ability is the fire explosive. Or maybe the... Well, I think the fire explosive is the one. Yeah, I mean, the Banshee definitely has to go in here. And, uh, she too. I don't know who should upgrade. Though, it's really annoying to have, like, such a small damage here. I think it might not kill you, but it's still awkward. And this is not good enough to, like, oh. No, 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 we, we're not leaving them back home just for that. So we got the Artillery Zombie. A very questionable... A play style. We can't even use the fucking basic ability from the back. Or the ultimate. <laughs> oh man. But it's fine. It's one way to use someone in the back spot. Uh, do we just go for ignition? It seems okay because we get ac accuracy for that. We also can get more HP with Whistling Buckshot. Which is probably better. But I actually wouldn't mind going for uh, initiative, most of all. It would make it a little bit less awkward that he comes uh, so late. Ignores resistance or ignores ward. Honestly, ignoring resistance is so much better if you're going for one or the other. But initiative is uh, probably a lot better. Especially for an artillery zombie. So I might want, might want to go for an uh, initiative. 
So at least the the artillery triggers at the start, or at least in the middle of next turn, instead of always dead last. <sighs> Let's go for Grand Volley. Get back to battle. So artillery zombie, uh, regular zombie. A Dark Knight. I should use the Abyssal Hunger a lot more. 60 uh, rats. That's a fucking bargain. So... Yeah. I mean, we can just keep taking these. I can, you can just chill for one round. Back at home. The zombie. Uh, we can... We don't have to. Okay, let's upgrade the brat, the brat, and uh, we can look into the creation. What the fuck? I have access to a lich? What happened? What did I do? Defeat any two bosses, get a minion to level 5? I would like that. Uh, let's get a lich. What else can I get? <laughs> Not a lich, that's for sure. Oh, man. <sighs> I don't want more zombies. Bride of Iratus, that's fine. Skeleton, that's fine. Uh, I should look at uh, what we might need in the graveyard. I need... What is that? I don't know. Oh, that's the leech. I, do I want to sacrifice my only leech? No, no, no. We don't do that. That's fine. I seem to have enough architect souls. More rats. Yeah, it's not even possible, even if I wanted to. Oh, this gives me... Random... Oh, yeah, 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 that, that's actually... I thought that was kind of useless, but it turns out it's actually super useful. So let's make a skeleton. Ah, bones, bones, bones. Just Go into the graveyard, so an excavation, put a skeleton in, build the excava excavation, and uh, maybe the zombie is going to excavate. We find the random minion part. And this actually cost me a zombie? Fuck yeah. Zombies kind of cheap, or at least seems to be kind of cheap so far. We can give uh, the leech a brain. Let's just see what the leech has. So it has a uh, magic ward, uh, a little bit lackluster health. It's not terrible, but he has no other. So, just the stats alone look terrible. Initiative is low. Uh, damage is maybe average. Nothing really stands out, stat-wise, other than uh, pathetic damage. He deals okay magic attack. Wait, on... A random enemy? Ah, oh, that's so bad. Can He can ignore the ward. Oh my god. To two random enemies and an ally in first position? Ah, oh, so bad. I think like going for the shard swarm is, is better at that point, but this is obviously a terrible ability. Select uh, that ally gains uh, 14 attack. Really? And 14 dread for one turn. So it's a little bit like the Banshee boost, but that happens on everybody. This happens on one person. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So the only difference here is that uh, we come a little bit sooner and uh, the leech shuffles back instead of shuffling forward. With this, uh, yeah, the lich shuffles uh, forward just like usual, but gives a little bit more. Still looks like a light cluster ability. Support kills an ally! Jesus Christ! Lich and all allies gain 45 vigor. Oh man, I don't like this. Kills an ally. No, 
no, this is bad. Fuck that. I don't like this. Uh, this is a very questionable boost as well. I mean, it's it might be okay, but it's only for one turn as well. Trap. Creates a cloud at the target position for two rounds, dealing stress damage to any enemy that enters it. Enters it? So, I'm assuming if you're already there, then you didn't enter it. Or maybe this hits one target at best. But this doesn't really work unless the enemies are just like shuffling around all the time. So far, Lich, not super impressed. Ignition Fire deals 10 damage to all allies and enemies. Holy shit. Except itself. Sets targets on fire for two turns dealing. I don't want to hit allies. Are you crazy? Wow. Lich is the perfect if you want to lose <laughs> minions on your side all the time. I don't know, Lich. We might just sacrifice you because you look terrible. I don't like it. <laughs> Ancient coffin filled with items. Let's fucking go. Ah, uh, what is that? Magic damage received is reduced by 18%. Okay. 18 luck. I mean, uh, 12 luck and... Physical damage reduced by 18%. I mean... That seems okay. Toss it with the rest. But that's probably a, a minion upgrade, not something we put on Iratus. Exactly. So he's the the mass the massive tank here. If someone is gonna use it, it should be him. Okay, let's just give it to the Dark Knight. And get into a battle with an elite. And we're getting close, closer to the boss. God damn it. Ah, uh, yeah. First squad is gonna be the one. The artillery zombie. Oh my god. I wanna replace him. He's so bad. But there's no one else. What is this? Artillery zombie is the best. Okay. Well, the advantage here is that uh, we can just use the artillery from the first moment on. We can also just set a spine bomb. Or maybe the... well, in the front. Have a little tingle up your spine. Right. Go artillery zombie, I believe in you. Oh, he's Mark. Oh my god, he's in the front. What happened? That's not supposed to happen. I can slide forward. Oh my god, you might be in trouble. I need to move my own minions. Doom Slayer. Sayer. Uh, I don't know. This is uh, a little awkward. Very awkward, actually. And the zombie's in big trouble, too. This move around was... Uh, a big problem. It is a big problem. What do you mean invalid targets? Oh, I have to target myself. All right, zombie, just do the bombardment. All the bo zombies doing the bombardment. Oh, he can't do it anymore. He has to do ignite mixture. That's fine. That's still good. We can do Bone Spear. Oh, 
The second guy is not on fire. Uh... Strength through pain. Just move him in the front. Wait, I can't even move them? I have to move them with spells? Oh, that's not what I wanted. I have to move them with spells. God damn it. Okay, yeah, the Banshee loses the, the buff from the no. I don't want dread damage. This is so bad. I need to do crescendo. Let's wait. That, that hurt. <laughs> Your cries are music. No. We need to switch location. So the abyssal hunger is actually a pretty good use of uh, rats. He is going to die to the fire. Okay, I'm loving the dark night. That guy needs to be safe to the back. And I, I can't save him anymore. Ugh, that's the best I can do. I can do stress damage. Move around targets. Uh, I, don't, I don't really want to do dread damage. If I slide back, then this zombie will be exposed, so no. I can't do that. We're gonna lose a zombie, that's pretty much a given here. Oh, this zombie can slide back even more? That's that's good. Let's make sure the zombie can't get hit. Dark Knight is fine. You can just spam Abyssal Hunger. Dark Knight is really, really good. God damn it. Okay, now we got pretty much the original lineup back. I think the zombies are different, maybe? No, 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 I think... No, this is the original lineup. I guess you're gonna do the artillery. Oh, he's. Oh my god, he's dead. He's dead. Would you stop with this shit? Strength through pain. I mean, this is so bad. Who the fuck is marking? Fuck you. Is he, it's him, right? Oh, man. Can you just go into the back? You're pissing me off. I can't even spend a, like an action just to move them around. It doesn't work. I can pray to get some mana. Is that does that work? Is it, does it work even if I don't remove a debuff? Yeah. It works even if I don't remove a debuff. So Dark Knight is actually really damn strong. Okay, let's scream at them. Ah, <sighs> zombie in the front. I don't know if you want to use uh, the cannonball ability here. It's not a great one. 
We cannot kill the headsman. And the turn is gonna end if I don't use uh, an ability here. It's just, just gotta be go unused. Impale this wretch. Okay, set them on fire. One by one. Oh my god, he's killing his own guys. Vanishes from this world. Oh no, that looks bad. I don't want to use uh, lose another guy. That's for sure. So if we can go bone spear. Oh no, I can also shout at him for heals. Impale this wretch. Uh, don't worry, zombie. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna be just fine here. Uh, wow. He is gonna resist some effects here. Nor's armor. Um, now the bombardment would be okay. I think we should just prioritize dealing, uh, just getting rid of his uh, regular shield. But I can't. Not with the zombie. Oh my god, I missed too. Just stress damage. Let's do Crescendo. I don't know, regular hit? I don't like this guy. <gasps> I can't even howl. Oh man. He's doing magic, so Crescendo doesn't really work. We can do no. I don't think the stress damage is, is gonna get him at all, ever. Oh man. That was a physical attack. Well, he can heal. But that doesn't really help the other minions. I think that's gonna be a big nuke again. We can do some damage, 30 damage. Ignores armor. Oh, he gained armor here. What a fucking bastard. I can defend my guys. Oh, I can kind of defend myself with the nerve. Oh my god, it, it, it ended before his turn. God damn it. I don't know, let's set him on fire. That's not good. We can shot at him and gain some vigor. I don't really have physical damage here. Heartbeats. Okay, true damage. Oh, we can also pray to get mana. That might be okay. The Dark Knight might be... Maybe that's the best thing the Dark Knight can do, is that he prays. And I get mana. I think that might be the best. He is taking true damage. It's pretty damn close. But it would not be good enough. Okay. I just tried to uh, slice him up. I can't slice him up. I can gain some mana. Uh, I'll just blow him up if possible. 
before his ability triggers. Wow. Really? Okay. So we got big heals. Uh, that's just how much we healed. The rat. Braid kind of healed up. I mean, uh, it's got a little bit higher level. Uh, we got access to extra talents. Which is kind of interesting. If I can just use up my mana, then praying for extra mana or just getting extra mana would be uh, pretty interesting. So we got the Dark Knight here. And he's a pretty good unit. Each time an enemy receives a buff, Dark Knight deals uh, stress damage to it. This is just increasing... Oh, this just gives him magic armor. That seems pretty good. No, that's not good. This is okay. We get accuracy bonus. We get more mana. That's so good. So we can pray to get mana. And that 11 mana or 12 mana that we get... Assuming I don't have mana, that could be huge. I can just uh, proc a bomb. Like, look at this. If I just look at my talents. For that, I can almost do a spine bomb. It's basically like, okay, let, let's say like that's 40 damage. That's crazy. So, praying for damage is really good. What might be the next best thing? Is that when he gets uh, too close... Uh, unfeeling aggression could be uh, too close to the uh, back. Unfeeling aggression gets him back. Deals additional 2 free damage for each buff or debuff on the enemy. That's kind of useless. But gives me extra attack. Deals additional equal to the sum of Dark Knight's armor and resistance. Uh, okay, but that's. They are both extremely situational. <laughs> but this would give him uh, more initiative and this gives him more attack. So, I mean, do we need him to uh, come early? And is 6 already too late? I don't know. 6 seems pretty good. And we would get 3 attack, which seems okay. It seems like the best option out of all of the options, except maybe one magic damage. So let's do that. This is a very situational thing, so going for extra attack uh, seems like the Serve best option anyway. Well, my minion. Dark Knight! Such an MVP. Zombie, uh, you kind of sucked. So these guys can come out and the the raid comes out. And the, the zombie and the banshee goes in. Unfortunately, we had one casualty. Rating. Use <laughs> the leech being useless. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, one. The problem with this effect is that, okay, one minion is really hard to hit, but unless that minion gets targeted, it could be completely useless. And the last thing you want to do is just do nothing. If I go for this approach, we would get free uh, dread, which should be pretty good for the ghostly fire. So, I mean that that's pretty good. Other than that, we can go for a little bit more accuracy. Even if I don't care about the ne necrotic wind, removes all buffs from the target. Target loses fifteen evasion. So this what the. The fuck is the difference? Oh, it gets pushed back. Okay. Oh, this deals a little bit more. Uh, I, I think the accuracy is more useful, or the spectral fog. Yeah, just just make sure that we deal more uh, dread damage if you're already using it. Target can move during their next turn. Critical hit will deal 200% damage. It's just... no, nah, this doesn't really matter. Get back to battle. Okay. 
Well, ultimately this can be played on uh, position 2 or 3. It doesn't really matter. Wait, what? No, 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 no. We are not, not heading out right now. Uh, skeleton can... Can be part of the team. I don't know about the Banshee. I can just do Veil in the back, but that's... That's so lame. I don't know. I, I, well, we gotta decide between uh, Bride of Iratus doing nothing in the back. We can create a Banshee that just wails in the back and that's it. Great. I think I have enough zombies. This is not very useful. Absorb fear. Veiling in the back? I don't like it. At all. No, I don't like it. That would be pretty useless. I don't I don't know. Restores the target to full sanity. Gives Iratus mana equal to 25% of the sanity. Yeah, I mean, this is a good way to fill some mana. But, actually, the Dark Knight has a better way to do it. I don't like the no, because you just don't get attacked, and that's it. So, this is pretty useless. Stance would be something that, you know, just stays on, but it doesn't stay on. Uh, removing all buffs from the target, that's actually fucking good. That's really good. That's good, and we can use it from all positions. So... Ultimately, you can have some kind of a Veiling Banshee in the back that just keeps buffing people. And uh, maybe it removes the additional, the odd buffs. But that's like... But then we're not stressing everybody. And maybe we can... We can't even absorb fear. So, it's a pretty lame Banshee. It's just not worth using, but... I mean, what the hell do I play in the back? Because we can play Ghostly Fire Guy. This again. Okay, remove all buffs from the target. But it can't deal much else. In order to use Cold Grass, we need to be in the back. Uh, okay. Like, survival is just straight up better than what Banshee has with uh, No. Maybe, maybe later minions actually meant to be stronger. It's possible, but maybe not. Who knows? I have no idea. But I'm just kind of finding it a little odd that so many minions are completely useless uh, for position f 4. It's just such a awkward to even like consider something for that spot. We can get a Banshee. But this Banshee is not set up to deal with that. Okay, what can we do in the graveyard though? Oh, we have talent. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think I'm gonna do anything right now. Maybe I just do a mocking slap. Uh, let's go into the graveyard and see what we can do here. <laughs> That's no good. Uh, we can sacrifice a leech to start getting more XP. Uh, considering how badly the leech sucks, that's... That's very tempting thing to do, even if I didn't care about that. Also, we can sacrifice a zombie. But currently, I, I can't really do that. This would be really good. Excavation. Oh, we can't really go there. Wait. It's possible that we can sacrifice something else, but it seems like these are even less likely to. Yeah, it's even less likely that I'm gonna have those. Yeah, I, I don't have those at all. Uh, what I need... Oh, actually, someone should be in here, gaining some XP, but who should be the one? Let's check. Uh, none of them really fit. Uh, I, I do think we want to put a Lich in here. <laughs> Built on a foundation. Creation. I would like a Dark Knight. Let's put in a Dark Knight. And I would like... Wraith is fine, Banshee is... I don't know. 
Let's get a raid. So double raid? No, no, no. Uh, we can also sacrifice a zombie, right? Where is it? Oh yeah, the excavation. We need that. I'm gonna make a zombie. And we're gonna sacrifice it into the excavation. And that allows me Brick. to get more minion pieces. Okay. This is actually quite important. Oh fuck. Uh, Banshee, how would you feel about uh, getting some XP? I would like that very much. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. Uh, sure. Uh, that, that's the plan. And we're not using the talents. That's it. I'm just trying to use up my resources. Wait. No, I don't have any more items. He's he's currently my best unit, I think. Hopefully he's not gonna die. <laughs> don't die, please. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. That's it for tonight, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.